I did have a question regarding I think I had email you emailed you about this and you said it was too um complicated for email. Um it was regarding the person could write write out specific personal statements for specific schools versus just wearing uh, writing out one template and then giving that to all the schools you applied for. Personal statements for each specific schools. Obviously the the bulk of the essay is gonna be saying like adding some personalizations for each school. This is known like, oh you're not sending us it's just a template of what you said to everyone else. Sure. Sure. Yeah, no, I'm glad you're bringing this question up again. So yeah, I mean, you don't need to personalize it. They don't, they don't care, honestly. They know that you're applying to more than one school and they probably would also recommend, I mean, it's not in their interest to say this, but they would, I think they'd be surprised if you were only applying to one school. So it's, it's almost assumed by default that you're applying to more than one. So personalization is not required for that specific reason. Mm -hmm. It can be nice to tell them why you want their school in particular. But I would probably recommend doing that as a separate essay to give it the attention and focus. And so as to not divide your personal statement into covering so many different things. So a personal statement could often talk about why law school in general in some way, mm -hmm. but then for why their school in particular, I'd put that in a separate essay. And that way you're also not changing your main personal statement draft so many times and then potentially mixing things up. I think it's probably safer to just make it a separate statement and then give it the focus there. Okay. So, all right. So just write a why so-and-so essay, just a different one. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So if you're given law school, you do some research on the school, you have some specific details about the school, and then you can talk about how those details relate to what kind of law school experience you want to have or what you want to do after law school, things of that nature. But the other thing also I want to add is that personal statement, it's got to be jam-packed, right? You got mm -hmm. about two pages, double space, something in that neighborhood. And so to take up valuable space there, talking about their school in particular, when you could put that in a separate essay, why would you take up the space in your main draft? I've fallen to the trap of, filling up so much stuff in my personal I think I've, I've put diversity aspects in there and another why this law school in particular so I, I guess just to cut those out and then just make it more concise would be a better option yeah I mean the diversity aspects that could be a separate diversity statement you don't need to put it all in one essay thanks for tuning into the show please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them and feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.